Yo. 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 I gotta take the moment and tell you guys that we have to celebrate for a quick second. We gotta celebrate because, yo, three videos within a week span, guys. What? What? Three videos in a week span. We are moving up. Take a shot for your boy. Even if it's a shot of apple juice, it's okay. Eat a few cheese puffs, cause baby, we moving up. Guys, today I'm presenting an old video straight from the files that we're never gonna make it to the YouTube space. But you know what? Just for you guys, I'm, I'm dropping it. I'm dropping this one. This is the client that no longer comes to me. You know why? Because Nate took him. Why did Nate take him? Because he did a better fade. Why did he do a better fade? because he's Nate. I was gonna try to FaceTime him, but he doesn't have an Apple phone, he has an Android, and he doesn't have WhatsApp. Nate, you need to do something with your life because I wanted to include you in this video, but you're not included. You know why? Because you don't have anything that I can work with right now. Nate, not that I miss you though, bro. Miss everybody in the shop, okay? So we get him to this. This client right here, I used to cut him for a minute, him and his brother, but you know, his brother's gone too with Nate. Now for little man right here, mom always wanted a bald fade. Like she wanted the shaver on him. I don't even like using shavers on little kids because in most cases they break out. And they, they just don't like the feeling of the shaver against their skin. It, 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 for some of them, they freak out. They say it hurts. And with, with little man right here, He's cool. He is cool, I, I must say. Now guys, since this is such an old video, the quality is nowhere near my recent stuff. I didn't even use a GoPro. I probably didn't even use the same lens. And uh, I, I just wasn't all there with knowing what I wanted to do for my own videos. So the ending sucks because I don't even get a full 360. I'm just letting you know right now. I'm just showing you what I can because we gotta make something out of nothing, you feel me? So, what, just just don't get mad at me. Don't go ham on the comments section talking about I wasn't trying to show you. I just didn't record enough. Now the upside, well, I don't know if it's necessarily the upside, is that we're supposed to be back in the barbershop next Friday. I have mixed feelings about that. I really don't even wanna get started yet because Florida's like top three with this whole COVID-19 situation. So we'll see. How's y'all's area doing? Are y'all ready to go back? If they, if they say next week, Y'all can go back. Are y'all gonna go back? Let me know in the comments below. But enough COVID talk. Let's get into this cut. Jay Hits finna drop the f days. Okay, so getting started with this uh, interesting video, I wet the hair, I prepared it to start chopping with my shears. Now, if it was up to me, I would just use a guard because in the end, I literally had it so short, I could've just used the guard. It could've saved me time, but mom always preferred it with shears, so, you know, you gotta, you gotta do it for the mom. And, uh, oh, look at that. I didn't even show the outcome because Fonz, you forgot to record how it looked. Good one, Fonz. Good one. Okay, so getting started with this fade. I'm going I'm going pretty high, guys. We're going high, and the, one of the reasons I'm going high is because he has like two calyx. I'm talking about mean. These hairs are poking up, and mama does not like it. She's never liked it, and because of that, she always asked me to go high with the fade and make sure that that area where the calyx are is short enough for the hair to, 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 to not poke out for at least a few weeks. In reality, I think after like a week and a half, two weeks tops, it's you back, you back to that. Big shout outs to all my Octane users. These are some expensive behind clippers that I was obsessed with having. Oh my goodness, I wanted these so bad. And these are like $300 clippers. I got them for like two from Basio and I literally used them for everything. I balled it out everybody with those. I, I used the, um, the five aught blade. This the blade with the five zeros on it. Oh, 
Uh oh, uh oh, busted out the Andis shaver. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, after using the, the Babless Gold shaver, it's hard for me to go back to Andis. It's, it's a big difference. To me, I enjoy using the, the Babless shaver a lot. I do wanna get the bronze shaver though. I mean, there are certain occasions where the bronze shaver uh, just is better than any of these other shavers. It just depends on what you're trying to do. Um, when you use a bronze shaver, you can't go like with the grain to kind of like lighten up certain areas uh, with the Andes and the Babbler shaver, you can. So like, you know, obviously if you go against the grain with the shaver, you're gonna get pretty much like skin tight. And then if you go with the grain, you're kind of just taking like, you're taking hair down, but it's just, it's not as aggressive as going against the grain. And with the bronze shaver, the only option you really have is against the grain. With the grain, you're not gonna get nothing, nothing. Okay, so starting off with the guard system, I'm pulling out the number two guard. This is the premium, uh, because otherwise I would be rocking, I think the, the colored number two guard is the purple. I broke it, that's why I'm not using it. It's been a long time. I'm gonna have to uh, buy a new set of the colorful guards. I don't know if you guys watched the DIY clipper video that I just did on installing the Babbler's blade, but if you take a close look, I had the top blade as the Babbler's blade and the cutting blade was the walled blade because I didn't know how to install it properly yet. Well, I, don't, I wouldn't say that my method is proper, but you know, I, it wasn't it wasn't what it is now. Uh, anyways, we are coming with the blade all the way open. And after that, we are continuing with the spade. We're gonna close it, we're gonna go midway with it. You guys get it, right? You guys get it. Y'all don't even need me. Y'all don't even need me. But then again, y'all like watching. So let's keep going. Damn, we are reminiscing right now. Shout outs to all the Slimline Pro users. I don't even use these trimmers anymore. Actually, I think I still have them. Hold up. They're somewhere around here. They're somewhere around here. I love using the Slimline Pros, especially around areas where people, like their eyebrow is right by their edge. Because if you, I mean, if you're using a big blade, like an outliner, T outliners or the, the Babbler's, somebody's gonna end up with a line on their eyebrow, I'm just saying. And the best solution for that, to prevent those accidents, accidents, is by using the Slimline Pros. I'm telling you, that short little blade, man. Man, love it. I'm gonna, have to buy, I'm gonna have to buy me a new pair. We gotta get back to the basics, guys. We gotta get back to the basics. Shout out to all the Slimline users. Make sure you hit that like button. All right, guys, this is the point of no return. This is where I start getting risky. We are bringing that number one guard all the way up to the ridge. You make a mistake here, mama's not gonna like you. This is when you're tuned in. This is where you don't wanna go any higher. You're playing with fire. No desire to mess up, but we're going. That was supposed to make sense, but it doesn't. Well, what do you know? Barbara enemy number one. You see those Calyx? I see you, you see me Calyx, eye to eye, because there's two of you. Look Calyx, you're not gonna beat me, I'm gonna beat you, you know why? Because I'm going high with this fade. You're not gonna show yourself. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna take care of you and you won't show yourself for like another two weeks. So stay down, stay down Calyx. I'm bringing the guard all the way up to your area. Calyx, what? Okay, 
so I'm prepping up the edge for a lineup. I'm coming with the number one guard with the grain. I believe I had the guard all the way open and I just want to lower that area up because his hair is slightly curly. I don't want it to curl up on the edge because by tomorrow it's just going to, his, his edge line going to be all over the place and I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to prevent that. So what you have to do is lower that edge line a little bit. And uh, yeah, after that, I'm spraying him with some hairspray. I'm not playing. And I went all in with the hairspray. I'm not playing. Fonz, that forehead is sticky with that hairspray. Guys, make sure that if you spray somebody's edge line with some hairspray to have a crispy edge up, cover their forehead because it's, it's uncomfortable. I, I came to find out later down the line from, you know, some very honest clients that they don't like that. So head on the forehead. Spray that hairline, then release. Damn, even though that on this video, the ending sucks, I must say that the edge up at this point doesn't look bad. Because again, guys, you're not gonna see, you're not gonna see the best ending. But look, I gotta say, so far on this part, it looks good. Well, there you go guys, the worst ending in Yofan's history, but guess what? That's not all the worst ending you'll ever see from me, because the next video is gonna get even more interesting, where you're gonna see somebody's long hair become very, very, very short. So, if you're ready to see that, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and uh, make sure you hit the notification as well. I hope you liked this video. If you didn't like the video, then I hope you uh, stay around, I guess. Maybe it'll get better, maybe it won't, we'll see. Guys, I'll see you next time. I'm done. I'm ready to go play with my family, with my kids, and uh, kids are all up on wifey. I'm gone. Bruce.